Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Control. We're starting off today with a small deductive reasoning puzzle where the clues are a little scattered around. Uh, so we need to restart the HRA production machine using some punch cards slotted into the correct terminals labeled 1 through 5. Uh, note the whiteboard here, how 2 and 3 have the arrow swapping them around, and this little note that says changing variables. That'll come into play later. Uh, step one is just to pick up and find all of the punch cards. And the reason they're scattered around is not just to give you busy work and to draw this out. Uh, from a game design point of view, I think it's to lead you to the clues. So you'll make sure to take note of them. They're kind of breadcrumb trailed. Uh, the boards will show you that the uh, show you the order that the symbols go in, like this one. So now we know the very first terminal should have those three uh, filled in triangles in the middle, and our final punch card is right here. Let me actually check terminal number four and make sure that we have all five. We do. So what goes in number four? It's that one, second from the right. It's not crossed out, so we know that it's good. It is this one. The boards will show you the order that the symbols go in from first to last, and then you just have to match them to the terminals labeled one through five. The trick is sometimes the symbols are missing or crossed out on the boards. Uh, and some have notes like the one we saw before, the changing variables one. Uh, for that one, we saw that the arrow was switching their spots, so where two is on the board, it should actually be three. And three should be in the second one's position. You just swap them around. So that plus a small amount of process of elimination and you get the correct order. And this is our final terminal. Prism Shadow. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock Prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. <laughs> It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out.
Here, this will lead back to central research. HRA, the Hedron Resonance Amplifier. Hedron. Sounds a little bit like Hadron. Like the large Hadron, Hadron Collider. It's the first time that we've really heard that word used apart from the rest of the acronym, just by itself. And Darling's utterance of it sort of begs the question, who or what is Hedron? We're going to have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> it's just, the game puts a little bit finer of a point on it to expect that reveal at this point, so I figured I would too. But no, it's not just a random word that they're using for no reason. There's some rhyme to it. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRA's first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? She has a really close relationship with Polaris. Whoever Polaris is. She genuinely seems to trust them. Ah, thresholds. The short of it is that a threshold is like a nexus point between Earth as we know it and alternate planes of reality, uh, dimensional rifts. And the result of a threshold being crossed is a paranatural phenomenon. And the good old Federal Bureau of Control is absolutely lousy with them. Its cup runneth over with thresholds, and they can they can appear spontaneously and disappear just as fast. Uh, so right now we're gonna head towards a side mission. So I I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all? Or? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. So we'll hit that we're button immediately five, and begin four, a good defense. Three. Which is just uh, a small obstacle course, using a few of the powers that we picked up so far, along with the greatest power of all, gun. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, yeah, I super did miss one. That's really going to hurt my time, especially missing two shots? 45 seconds. Uh, I think we can still get this. This is pretty forgiving. Ooh, yeah. These mistakes tend to get made uh, doing the obstacle course, where you're trying to grab a battery, but you just get um, a handful of debris. Oh, that first shot actually rang true. Hmm. I think we'll make it. Just barely. Just barely. As long as I don't make any more of those battery mistakes. Oh, you're gonna be tight. Four, three, two. I'm guessing this isn't usually part of the course. Cool, we got that on the first try, and as a reward, something is. Ah, it's a safe. Of course, a safe has a really good impenetrable shell around it. So we're cleansing the safe object of power. And what will we get from that? Well, it's appropriate to the theme. The copies have been given weapons and projectiles. Shield yourself to pass slash level up. So the new ability that we're going to get on L1 is the ability to pull up debris or whatever else is around us to shield ourselves 
uh, ourselves from attack. And it's not totally impenetrable. You saw one stray bullet actually get through. But it does a really good job of absorbing the brunt of most uh, of what gets thrown at you. We're going to give that a second to recharge. And then break for it. Oof. What if you is get, uh, are getting through? Hmm. I think it's mainly effective from the front is the thing. Yeah, it's holding up just fine from the front. It was a little scary. I think we'll be good though. I think that golden copy behind me has stopped firing as we make our final ascent. <laughs> I love how rewarding these side quests are and how not obnoxious they are either. They're usually pretty quick and dirty. Oh fuck, the final exam is a fight. And it didn't heal me after that little interlude in the astral plane. Ugh. So we need to really just mess one of these up real fast and get a little bit of health back. Just to start that momentum going back in my favor. I should have released that earlier. It would have hit him from behind. There we go. It's a little more health. And they're thinned out now. So we're fine. Absolutely no reason to be dying from now on. Or at least for the rest of this fight. <laughs> There'll still be a few deaths to come throughout the LP. That's almost a guarantee. Ah, uh, there's a sniper. Where exactly? Ah, upper catwalk. And now, uh, can barely see him. My reticle is orange, which means I should have been hitting him. But hey, he was being a little bit sneaky. Now, was he the last one? Would appear so. So let's get out of here. And that's the obstacle course of a good defense and our new power. I think shield also tends to get. Oh, whoops, that's the sector elevator, which means black rock processing is through here. Uh, I think shield gets some pretty decent upgrades later, too. I mean, just in general, you kind of get to be really overpowered by the end of the game. I'm not even sure where that grenade was, I just heard it ticking. Okay, so this is the Atlas Chamber. Which is where we kind of want to head. Oh, but wait, I don't think I can... Right, there's something I have to do before. Uh, at least the doors haven't closed behind me yet, so we don't have to wait for those. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to grip him. I don't think it's worth it. This isn't exactly a huge fight, I think. Where are they all? I see one of them. You can just follow me in here, though. And then one of them is a healer. I think... Yeah, I see him. That got stuck, which is not ideal. It's usually not a great idea to save the healer for last, but just by nature of where they ended up. Kind of had to do it. Jesus, that looks so cool. <laughs> and music is still playing like there's some left, but if there are, I... Oh, hey. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> it's, it's so impactful. It feels great to use every time. 
Uh, now, speaking of puzzles from earlier, I'm not actually sure what that one directly across from the turbines does, but I always put it there anyway. I do not know if there's a point to that. We got Ritual Impulse, which is a crafting material. So we're going to hop across the now stalled turbines, uh, head upstairs, and open up a door so that we can actually proceed. Taking this one out again to stop the turbines and oh no oh wait oh right oh, okay I thought I saw a bunch of extra batteries somewhere but instead I'm just gonna take this one because I come on I really genuinely don't remember if I need that one to be there. Were there batteries here? No. So I'm going to take that one, and we'll just see. Consequences be damned. I'm being uh, really indecisive. Come on now. I can't get in range of it. There we go. So if the door opens, we're good. If not, we have to go find another battery. And the door has opened. And we recognize that sign and the lighting. A little bit harder to see, but still there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. That's the shortcut back down. Okay, we're good. A little bit harder to notice was the light switch. But you can see it now, so we know exactly what to do here. We enter the Ocean View Motel. So who could that be? Trying to get in to stay at the Ocean View Motel. I'm thinking the Ocean View Motel is going to play heavily into the Alan Wake tie-in DLC. Specifically because of the last line of Alan Wake. It's not a lake, it's an... Uh, did I say Alan Lake? Alan Wake. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. So we have a bunch of things in that room we can move around, but no real context for what to move where. Unless we come in this first room, and we note radio on the right, chair is askew. And then let's see how the painting and the plant are. The painting is hung straight, plants on the left. Good, good. Let's go ring that doorbell, or that up, uh, the desk bell, one more time. Oh, the door was already open. You can see it at the end of the hall, the light coming in. And once again, we have the key for the upside down pyramid door. One, two, three. The bridge is in now. And this is why they give us that little shortcut. Oh, the little shortcut that still resulted in, in the tiniest fraction of fall damage, huh? <laughs> Imagine if you were low enough on health that that would have killed. That would be upsetting. And on to processing and the Black Rock Foundry, which I cannot say or hear spoken out loud without thinking of World of Warcraft. We need to find a way to Black Rock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. I think that is where we'll leave off today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good night, y'all.